Constructors are special type of functions that are executed when the object is created from the class. And destructors are the opposite of the constructors. They are also special type of functions, but they are executed when an object is destroyed. Here I have created simple car class which has color and weight, and I'm creating an instance from the class. Now let's create a constructor and see what it is actually. As I said, they are functions, they are special functions. So they are created like public function and they have special names like construct. And if I print something here, I am created and I run the code php car php, you can see that I am created is printed. So as many objects we create from this class, the same amount of uh, I am created will be printed, which means that for each object, the constructor function is executed. Constructor functions can also accept arguments. Right now I have hard-coded red and 2000 for color and weight, and I'm gonna give them as a constructor argument, like color and weight. And I can save these color and weight as a private variables inside the private properties color and weight. So this color is color and this weight is weight. Now, when I run the code, I have an exception which says uncode argument count error to view arguments to function car construct. Whenever you accept an argument in the constructor function, you should pass the argument when you are creating an object. In this case, we are creating an object and we don't pass these required arguments like color and weight. So there are two solutions here. Either we can make the arguments as optional, like color is green and the weight is 2500. And right now these two arguments are uh, optional and we can run the script and it, it works fine. And the second solution is we can pass the arguments right here, green and 2500, like number. So, and I can make these arguments as required arguments. So you will have an error if you don't pass the argument. And the first new car creation will run without any problem, but the second will throw an error. So let's pass uh, white here and one eight hundred, and let me delete the second one and call the my car too. And now I have created two instances with different colors and different weight. And this code is fine. The constructor will be executed for both of them. Now, if I create public function get color, which returns the color of the car, for the first one it will be get color. For the first one it will be green, and for the second one it will be white. So I'm going to do like this, run the code, and here you see green and white. And we need to put here PHP end of line constant to print them as a separate lines. And here they are. Okay, let's talk about destructors. As I said, they are also special functions which are executed when the object is destroyed. So let's create uh, the destructor. Here is my destruct, uh, destructor function and um, it has a special name underscore underscore destruct. For constructor it's underscore underscore construct and for destructor it's underscore underscore destruct. And let's print something right here. I am destroyed. Uh, destroyed. Okay, let's run the code. It prints green, white, and then I am destroyed and I am destroyed again. That's because we have two objects and both of them are destroyed at the end of the file automatically. So let's print here something to identify which object is destroyed, like this color and PHP end of line to print them on a new line. We run the code, 
there is green, white, I am destroyed white, and I am destroyed green. I think we need to put here PHP end of line also. Okay, I can manually, let's, let's see this nice output. Okay, perfect. So first white is destroyed and then green. But what I can do here, I can manually destroy an object using unset uh, function. And if I give here like my car, the first one will be destroyed first, the green one, and then white one. You see? So if I use, for example, sleep function here, which stops the script with the number of seconds you pass right here, like if I want to sleep for two seconds, so you see, green is destroyed, and after two seconds, white is destroyed, because on the line 35, I unset my object and this is destroyed manually, then nothing happens for two seconds, and at the end of this file, uh, destructor is called for the white card, and it is destroyed also. I'm using PHP Storm, uh, so I'm going to give you a couple of tips and tricks when working with classes, uh, like for uh, constructors, for example. So with Alt and Insert on Windows, this Generate dialog pops up. And you can find the constructor, hit there, select the arguments you want, and click the OK button, and the constructor function will be generated for the arguments which are available inside the class. And I can also generate getter and setter functions, methods for these arguments. Alt, Insert. Here we have a couple of other override methods, implement methods, test, copyright, and so on. But I'm going to uh, click on getters and setters, select just color, click OK, and this will generate get color function, which returns the color, and set color method, which um, accepts a color and sets in the private color property. That's it for constructors and destructors. Again, if you like the video, please share to your friends, hit like and subscribe buttons, write a nice comment, and see you in the next video.